come out. Hey guys, today I'm going to do a very simple and quick holiday makeup look. I'm going to include two lip options in this, a nude for those of you that just don't want to do something too bright, you just want something even more simple, more everyday type of look, and then I'm also going to include a red lip for those of you that want to be a little bit more festive. All of these products that I'm going to use are drugstore, so they're very affordable, they're awesome products. I am going to be doing a get ready with me style video today. I love these type of videos, I feel like it just gives me more of an opportunity to sit down and talk. I feel like it builds more of like a relationship with those of you that subscribe to my channel and it gives me an opportunity since I haven't been vlogging to just kind of fill you guys in talk through what's been going on with us it is pretty cold here and I film in the room where our heater is so if you hear that kind of going off and on that's what that is but it's way too chilly to turn that off my mirror is right here I know that you can see that I'm sorry but if I put it any farther away I'm not gonna be able to see to do my makeup also, I just got a spray tan last night and I haven't washed it off yet, so if I'm looking like kind of crazy in my hands and looking a lot more tan than usual, that is why. <laughs> okay, for foundation today, I think I'm going to mix the e.l.f. Moisturizing Stick Foundation with just a little bit of the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. This one is normally my shade when I'm really fair, but since I am a lot more tan, I'm hoping that by mixing this one in with it, this one's a little bit darker than me normally, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's going to look okay let me just tell you guys real fast what just happened to me this like scare that I just had I'm gonna add a little bit of the L'Oreal on my wet n wild foundation brush and then just blend this out with the other foundation okay so back to my story I got all my filming stuff set up to film this video and I noticed that my camera battery needed charge because every single time I go to film my camera battery needs charge because for some reason I cannot remember to charge my battery. So I plugged it in for a little bit to charge, left the room, and I come back like 10 minutes later and my camera, my mic are on the floor. So they had fallen a good, I'm saying that's probably like three and a half, four feet to the ground. I was freaking out. My mic definitely broke like the little attachment that attaches it to my camera came off I think it just needs to be screwed back on but this is like a brand new camera and I was freaking out like why does that stuff happen I just need to get a tripod so that I don't have to like ghetto rig everything but I was literally freaking out I don't know if I told you guys the story about when I broke our new computer screen when I was filming <laughs> So I guess I just kind of have a history of this with filming because I just kind of set a lot of stuff on like stools or chairs and it's not always like the most sturdy. So we had just gotten a new computer, like it, we hadn't had it that long. And I was filming and I went to like go fold the laundry and I heard something fall over and I thought it was one of my lights because sometimes they're a little bit top heavy and will fall over. And I came in and the computer had fallen off of the chair that I'm sitting in right now, which literally is probably like two feet off the ground, if that, and the computer screen broke. So it fell on carpet and it still broke. And then when I came in today and the camera was on the floor, I was like, oh no. Okay, I do not like how this foundation looks at all. Oh, I don't like it at all. It looks like really, really crusty. I don't know if you can see that or not, but oh, it looks crusty. This isn't a drugstore product, but I'm gonna spray my face with some MacFix Plus because I just do not like how this is looking at all. Hopefully this will help it to kind of sink into my skin and not look so disgusting. It's like really bad right between my brows. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Every time I put makeup on, the right side of my nose runs every single time. Just that one side runs. Does, any, does that happen to anybody else? Is that weird? This is looking like it's a little bit not my correct shade, and I wondered if it would be just because I don't get like spray tans very often. I'm just going to try to make it work. For concealer, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild concealer. I really do like this stuff. I used my Tarte Shape Tape the other day for the first time in a really long time. I've just been using this Wet n Wild one and then the Rimmel one that I love. And I used the Tarte Shape Tape the other day, and I hated it, you guys. Like, hated it. I don't know if it's just because I combined it. I think I used that and this one. I'm not really sure if it was just the combination of those two, 
but it creased so badly under my eyes. Like, I've never seen anything like it. And I don't remember it doing that before. It definitely has always creased under my eye. A lot of people say that concealer doesn't crease on them, but it has always creased on me. So I don't know if it's just my under eye, but the other day it was so bad. There were definite, like, lines under my eyes. It was really bad. So I know I said in the last Get Ready With Me that we had a lot of stuff kind of coming up, and I would let you guys know about it when it was, like, public. So... That will be soon. It's coming up. I'm gonna set my under eyes with this Wet n Wild powder. It's not public just yet, but we are a lot closer. So I'm super bummed because I wanted to do Vlogmas this year. If you don't know what Vlogmas is, a lot of YouTubers will vlog every day in the month of December. Some will do it every single day. Some people will just do it like through Christmas Eve. Some people do it through Christmas. Anyways, it's vlogging every single day through the month of December, and I'd never done it before, and I really wanted to do it. I don't feel like I really do that much interesting stuff during the week to vlog, like, every day and upload it every day. So I planned on vlogging every day and then combining the daily vlogs into a weekly vlog and uploading that every week and just doing, like, Vlogmas Week 1, Vlogmas Week 2, and all of that. So we purchased a new vlog camera. I was already kind of late to the Vlogmas party, and then it came, and it just didn't work out for vlogging for me. Like, it would have worked for other stuff, but it just wasn't going to work for vlogs, really. I mean, it would have worked, and it would have been fine, but it just wasn't exactly what I wanted. So, we have to return that one. But today, I did purchase another one. I'm just setting my eyes with that same powder, because I'm not going to do anything on my eyes today because I want the focus to all be on the lips so I'm just setting my eyes with that same face powder but what was I saying oh vlog camera okay so I ordered another vlog camera today after I like researched it forever trying to find the best one I'm spraying this on my face again I'm sorry I know it's not a drugstore product but like I can't deal with how this foundation is looking on my skin this is way heavy and just like cakey and really bad like right here Anyways, so the vlog camera that we purchased, like, about a month ago, my mom's calling. Hello? Hello, fruit bag. I don't remember what I was saying. I think I was still talking about that vlog camera. I'm going to bronze just the slightest bit because I'm already pretty tan with this Re Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer. What was I saying, you guys? So the first vlog camera that we ordered, we have to return. And then I ordered another one today, so I'm hoping that that one will be good. If not... I'm gonna return it and just like probably am not gonna be vlogging or I'm just gonna like use my phone or something because I don't wanna pay a lot for one that isn't gonna be like as good as I want it to be. Oh, I used the wrong brush for bronzer. That was my blush brush. Oh well. Now I'm gonna use this Milani Luminoso blush. We have some travel coming up that we're gonna be leaving for. So I'm hoping that it's gonna come before that. So I need to call them and just make sure that it's gonna be here or else I need to have it shipped to where we're going. So I am trying to get a new vlog camera because I do miss vlogging, but I think the Vlogmas ship has already sailed, so I'm probably not gonna be doing any Vlogmas stuff. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Sorry, I'm like all over the place today. I will try to do some vlogs more often when I do get it, and then we'll be able to vlog a lot of stuff coming up because we do have some really exciting stuff coming up, so. I'm hoping that this vlog camera will work well because I really want to be able to vlog this season, like in our lives. I think I have a hair in my mouth. Like, I think I legit have hair. Yep. Where is it? I can't find it. So, I do want to vlog this season. I want to start doing like just the normal vlogs that I used to do, but I also want to start doing home movie type of vlogs. Like, you know, back in the day when people would have. A video camera and they would make like home movies I want to make that kind of video for us like to have of our memories and the fun things that we do and the trips that we take or the special days that we have so I'm trying to think of how to do that those would be less vlog style and more like old family video style so I really really want to do that I think that those would be so cute and I think that those would be the ones that we would look back on like I don't usually go back and watch old vlogs I don't really go back and watch any of my videos really, 
kind of like the celebrating type of videos that I posted one of. I want to do more of those, but I want to do more of like that style that I did for celebrating like when I hit 100 subscribers. But I also want to do some in a style that's like those old family videos. I just think that that would be so cute. And I think that we would really, really treasure those. For brows, I'm going to use my favorite, the Essence Make Me Brow. This is like my favorite product ever. I was just telling Clay the other day that this product and the Anastasia Liquid Glow Highlight, those two products are like my favorite products ever. If I could only have two products, like those are the ones that I would pick. I love them. They don't ever let me down. They look good every single time I use them. This one's like $3 and the Anastasia Liquid Glow is like, I think it's $25. But it's so worth it if you like natural glow. You can build it up too. But it just looks so pretty on the skin. Ugh. These are my two favorite makeup products. Now for mascara, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. So we do have some traveling coming up, just visiting family and stuff. Do you guys have any traveling coming up for like Christmas and stuff? We don't travel on the actual holiday. We like to be home and do like our own little traditions, just the two of us. Like we have biscuits and gravy every Christmas morning and we wear our pajamas all day and just kind of like lounge around and have a fun, like cuddly, lazy day. <laughs> but it's so fun. I like look forward to that every year. It's just a day that we like don't think about anything else. We just lay around, eat biscuits and gravy, cuddle all day. Like it's such a special day, it's such a fun, tradition for us so we don't usually go anywhere on the actual holiday we are doing some traveling coming up just to visit family and stuff clay's in a wedding are you guys traveling do you have fun like christmas traditions that you do on christmas day do you have kids that you do like fun traditions with your kids on christmas day we will just be in our pajamas eating biscuits and gravy all day and cuddling on the couch and it is one of my favorite days of the whole entire year. I just want this makeup look to be like something really simple, something you can do really fast, something you can do whether you wear a lot of makeup normally or you just wanna wear it for a special occasion. I just wanted to do kind of a really quick and easy, simple holiday makeup look that anybody could wear. I love looks where the makeup is like really natural, really neutral, the eyes are bare, and then all of the attention is on the lip color. I love that, especially for like dark burgundy shades and red shades for Christmas. I love that type of look. I feel like it's so simple, but it looks so elegant and anybody can wear it. To finish off the look today, first I'm gonna be going in with this Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Lipstick, and this one is in the shade Nudie Patootie. So if you like more of a nude look, this is the one I would recommend. I love this lipstick. This is a really neat shade because it's kind of a little bit cool toned. I love this lip color. And for the red lip, I'm using the exact same type of lipstick. This one is just in the shade Missy and Fierce. I personally usually lean towards nude lipsticks. That's my favorite type of look is just like a really simple glowy makeup look. I've said this like a million times with just a nude lip or gloss. That's like my favorite type of look. But I do think it's really pretty during the holidays when you pair like a really natural look with a more bold lip. So I am going to do a red lip. I hardly ever wear the red lipstick. If you are going to wear a red lip, I would recommend putting a lip liner down first just to kind of keep it in place so it doesn't get messy. Oh my gosh, this is why I don't wear red lipstick, you guys. Why am I having like the hardest time putting on this red lip right now? It's literally getting everywhere. Oh, okay. This, this is not gonna work. I'm gonna take some concealer on this little Wet n Wild concealer brush and just kind of go around that and touch up the places that look like I've never put on lipstick in my life. This is the look with the red lip. I hope that you guys have a lot better luck with the red lip than I just did. I don't know what even happened just then. I just feel like I get really nervous anytime I put on a red lip because I'm scared that it's gonna get everywhere. Maybe I just jinxed myself or maybe I'm just not good with red lipstick. Either way, I hope that you guys 
enjoyed this video. I think that this is such a great and simple look for holiday parties, Christmas, even every day, especially with the nude lip. That is a look that you could rock every single day. It looks beautiful, it looks elegant, and it looks really simple. It looks like you tried, but it looks like you didn't try, you know what I mean? And I love those kind of looks where it's just more natural and just super elegant and beautiful. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and remember you are beautiful, you're a blessing, and I am so thankful for you. Bye. Today I'm going to review and test out this new Wet n Wild Holiday Brush Collection set.